just got really bright and now it's getting dark. So if the lighting's changing, it's because I'm sitting in front of my window right there and there's clouds that are going by. Um, it's a little bit of overcast, but that's good because white light is, I guess, better, right? So here we go again. So anyway, it is my five month postpartum update and I, that's just crazy to me. I cannot believe that little Grayson Babe is five months old. He turned five months on uh, the 6th, so I'm a couple days late. I like to do these on the weekend because I have more time to um, actually sit down with you guys and then go through it, edit it, and throw it up. So hopefully, um, it's Saturday today, hopefully I should get this video up by tomorrow. So, a few things. Grayson is actually sleeping right now, so that's why he's not with me. But there he is, he's just hanging out. He's just amazing, he's been such a good little boy. Um, a few things, I will start with his updates first. I don't typically remember how I do these, whether they're mine or his, but so this past month Grayson has um, has been teething and he got two teeth so the two bottom teeth right here they did break the surface and they are coming in and he has teeth that's crazy to me um, I am still breastfeeding and I have yet to actually feel one of those teeth so that's good um, when the top teeth come in that might be a different story but um, that has been going really well. I don't know if I should include this in this um, update or next month's update, but um, he just started doing it. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll include in this update. So anyway, so he's been like cooing a lot. He's very vocal and just recently, like in the past couple of days, he started babbling. So I did get him on camera for the first time saying da 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 and he was a little upset. It was in the morning when I was getting ready and I put him in his little rocky seat and he was just not having it. He was not happy about it. And so he started babbling and I got it on camera. And so I will insert that clip here. Can you say dad, dad again? Can you say dad, dad? <laughs> After I took the video, I was so happy. Um, you know, he didn't say ma ma ma, but that's okay. I know that it's a little bit more difficult for them to get that sound out that, rather than da da. So I sent it to Pat and I was so excited and now he's been babbling that ever since. So I have not really heard any other things. I think he throws in there na 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 every once in a while, but usually it's the da sound. So I'm really excited about that. So I, um, I'm i on an intramural soccer league and I got a mouth guard for the games and um, it's not anything crazy so I don't actually even wear the mouth guard but I bought the mouth guard and it's hot pink and um, I had it on the kitchen table one night while we were eating dinner. Grayson grabbed it and he's been playing with that so he really likes my pink mouth guard it was unformed or you know it's just it's straight out of the package I never even put it in my mouth um, so he just he grabbed that and he started gnawing on it and I figured hey what the heck it's plat or it's like you know rubber it's meant to be in your mouth so like he can play with it so he really likes my pink mouth guard um, he likes Sophie the giraffe because like I said he's teething so that I guess just feels really good on his gums um, what else? He doesn't like the teething rings that you put in the freezer because his hands get really cold and then he gets frustrated. So um, he just really likes gnawing on blankets, um, washcloths, like cold washcloths, Sophie the giraffe. Um, so also, I don't know if this is included, I've included this in my last video, but anyway, we got him the Jumperoo uh, Jungle Bouncy Seat and he absolutely loves it. Um, like before we even put him in the seat he'll start like kicking his legs so he really enjoys bouncing in that he is really awesome in his bumbo seat he is so good at sitting up now he still needs a little assistance but he's getting there also this past month we have put him in his crib to sleep at night and also for naps 
So we had been putting him in the crib during the day on the weekends for naps and we finally started putting him in the crib for nighttime and he's been doing really excellent with that. Um, the only thing we notice is he will now roll onto his stomach to sleep and he finds that to be more comfortable. He prefers to be on his stomach now while he's laying around. And so he has gotten really good at rolling over. He'll roll over onto his stomach, he'll lift his, you know, he'll, he'll push up and he'll lift himself to kind of see um, over we have this mesh thing that surrounds the crib, like the breathable mesh bumper. Um, and he'll kind of like lift himself up to see over that and through the slats of the crib. Like he is just getting more, uh, I don't know, more mobile. And um, I'm watching him sleep, he's just precious. But yeah, so he actually, because we put him in the crib, has gotten really good at rolling over and moving. Grayson has had pink eye twice now from daycare. Once, um, like maybe a month or so ago, and then again, just a couple weeks ago. And so he had his four month appointment, and then two weeks later, he actually, we had to bring him in for uh, pink eye again. And just in two weeks, he grew two inches. So that was crazy, he had a growth spurt. Um, and I think he's going through one now because last night he actually woke up every two hours to feed. He was fussy and he wanted to eat. So um, it may just be that we give him an additional applesauce during the day um, or some rice cereal and I am still obviously breastfeeding. Uh, that is his main source of food. So that is that. And actually, Grayson and I are kind of twinning right now. We both have pink eye. So that is why I'm in my glasses. Um, so he had pink eye like a couple weeks ago, had the medicine, there was still some left over, and I noticed that his eyes were getting gunky again, and I'm like, where is he picking up pink eye? He should just not be getting pink eye that often. So I was like, you know what? My eyes have been itchy, even though they're not gunky and whatever. Maybe I am the one that keeps giving it to him. So I went to the doctors actually the other day for something separate. I got my flu shot um, and I said, hey, can you just take a look at my eye? So she gave me um, medication for the conjunctivitis just in case. So I've been taking the drops. Grayson has been taking the drops and actually Pat thinks he has pink eye at now, so we're just all gonna take the drops and we're all just gonna combat this at the same time so that none of us have pink eyes. So that is that. I'm just checking to see how much time I have because I wanna, I've been talking about Grayson. I could talk about Grayson all day long. Time for mom updates. Nothing really new on my front except that I have continued to lose the baby weight. And I am so happy to say that as of this morning, I am a new low weigh-in and I am looking on my fitness pal because, you know, I can't even remember what I ate for breakfast this morning. Loading, loading, loading. So I logged in this morning at 156.4 pounds. And if we go back to September, September 9th, I was 164.6 pounds. September 11th, I was 164.2 pounds. So I am almost down 10 pounds um, again. So that's been typically my, my progression here. I really feel like now it's getting more difficult and I will have to obviously start, um, you know, introducing workouts and things. And I have not worked out, which um, obviously I have to change because it is getting more difficult to lose the weight. 156.4 and that's just kind of been my main focus is to be healthy and to continue losing this baby weight and uh, yeah I pretty much do the same exact thing that I've said in all of my previous postpartum videos so I guess without further ado here's that 360.
that you enjoyed this five month postpartum update. Um, sorry I didn't have Grayson in the video with me. He's still sleeping. He's just been amazing um, the past week, the past month. I've been doing really well and I look forward to more vlogs and my six month postpartum update. So stay tuned for that. And if you are new to this channel, please give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. What have you got to lose? So thank you guys so much and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> I didn't do anything yet. <laughs>